Hi there, Miss Taylor here, and I've got Kai with me, my son. I'm taking a gamble here, but he's going to help me explain anchor activities, something new that we're going to be doing in social studies this year. So, first things first. First things first, what is an anchor activity? These are small projects. I like to call them activities because they're not that big of a deal. Projects scare you guys when I say that. But they're designed to enhance, reinforce, and challenge your learning. They also offer more choice and self-guided work. What are the benefits of an anchor activity? First, grade improvement. In my class, I'll tell you how many we need at the beginning of each unit. And if you complete any more, I'll substitute the lowest formative grade for one of your extra activity scores. Also, another benefit is you get to take charge of your learning. You get to choose the topics, the vocab, and how you'll show what you know. It offers creativity, and it lets you have more fun. Right, Kai? Now I'll move my face. Why are we doing anchor activities? It helps us retain knowledge and skills. So the way that these activities are designed, they help you to retain lifelong skills, like researching and examining sources credibility. Also, I want you to know why we're doing it is it's all about knowledge and you keeping that knowledge, which kind of goes with this one. I want to explain to you how the grading will go. These activities were not designed for you to just copy down answers or regurgitate facts. This gives the student and the teacher time to have ongoing discussions about their learning. Where do you find them? So on CTLS, they're under the resources tab in each class. And then in the classroom, I'll have it printed out in a binder on the back table, and it's going to be labeled Anchor Activities. And at the end, I'll see if I can troubleshoot and show you how to find it on CTLS. When is it due? It'll be due the last day of every unit. So the day after the test, when we usually go back and I give you time to either um, enhance your learning or if you um, need to go back and fix your grade. So what are some examples? So there's things you'll do like create iMovies, interviews, vocab cubes, comic strips, protest posters, um, and then coming soon, I'm going to create things called Social Studies in Action and Passion Projects where you get to choose and it doesn't even have to be related to a standard. The other things that you're going to be doing per unit are related to a standard, but soon I'll have a way for you to not have to worry about standards. So there is a rubric. It's not just going to be turn it in and get a 100, guys. So um, I'll quickly go over the, the biggest things you have to earn your points on are the requirements. And I'll show you in just a moment on the resource guide that there are requirements listed in each one. You have to do all of those to get a four. Um, you would get a three if you're missing parts, a two if most of the parts are not there, and a one means you just didn't turn anything in. Another huge part of it is the knowledge that you gained. So it has to be knowledge beyond the standard. That's the language I use here to get a four. You'll have a three if you just display, you know, just enough understanding of the event or the standard. Um, and then a two means that it, you show little understanding. Um, and a one just means, again, nothing is present. Creativity is a part of this. So using graphics, objects, your personality, it depends on what type of project you're doing, right? But for it to show um, an exceptional degree, meaning you went beyond just putting a splash of color. It was more than that. Um, again, here I've got one or two graphics, objects, whatever, all those things are listed here, showing um, your creativity. So this is just one or two. This is going beyond, all right? I'm not trying to quantify and put a number because you can't quantify a personality, right, if you're doing an interview movie. So there is um, a little bit of gray area. So if you're not sure, always email me or ask me. And then the last part there shows that you, uh, you have a two if you didn't really show any original ideas. Maybe you copied something or someone, um, or and that's really a, pro a problem for plagiarism that we'll have to talk about. And then artists, you don't have artistic elements, and maybe you don't, it lacks personality, it's just words on a page. So there's your rubric, and I want to show you the guide. This is the guide, so there's different sections. There's a vocabulary section, there's a foldable here, you can make a comic, there's a cube. Then we have key people, uh, Pokemon cards are an option, and there's a digital link, or you can do them on paper. There's a comic or a cartoon you can make for the people, 
a news report, which again, you can use things like TikTok or Flipgrid. Then we have a current events section where you have to go and find credible sources and you need a works cited page. You can use, um, I think it's called something, here we go, Noodle Tools. So you can use that for all of them. We have where you can create a protest poster. There's some examples. Um, write a letter to the government that we're learning about. Coming soon, again, is the Social Studies in Action and the Passion Projects. Now let me take you to CTLS and show you how you get there. So um, when you get to your home page, okay, I guess I'll just click here. Um, you'll click on my class period, whatever period you have me. I'm just going to do second period. And then once that comes up, you'll see all your announcements and whatnot. Remember over here, you click on the Resources tab. And you'll see there is the where is it at? Sorry, general anchor activity rubric, and then the anchor activity guide. You'll just click that, and it comes up here. Or if you want to download it, you can do that as well. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, these anchor activities are going to be something that we'll also do on climb days. So, if you don't have time to work on it at home, when you do have climb with me, um, you can work on it then. So, thanks, guys. Have a great day.